I've been here all my life, been on the apartment 19 years. We'd heard rumours about the falls here and you could hear them, but it used to be thick, you couldn't get in there, so we never really bothered to go in there. 18 months before the fires, we actually walked up and had a look and saw what was there. And that's why we started pushing to get this project up and going. The fire started the day before New Year's Day, Ebola. The township was impacted pretty badly, so it took a day or two to get to the town, but it did burn through the town. I haven't seen activity like it before, and I haven't seen a fire that comes and just lingers for so long. The devastation, like the farmers that have lost cattle, lost houses, lost machinery, lost sheds. You go home and you, you're in the black. You go to work, you're in the black, and then the smoke come in and you couldn't get away from it. And that's the impact everyone had. You come back now, everything's green, everything's growing back. But when we come out here, there was nothing. There was no birds, there was no animals. There was nothing here. There was just silence, so. And to come and see what had happened, it was uh, devastating. It just took time and eventually, slowly, it's all in place now and you look what's here and it's great. We've got 700 metres to the falls, so it is roughly on a five degrees grade. And at the top, we've put in a viewing platform so the people can get up there, have a look at the falls from a great viewing point and then look down over the, the walk. And then we've got a return walk down through the tree ferns along the boardwalk, over three bridges, and return back to the parking area. We haven't got anything like this in the area, and this is just a little hidden jewel in Koryong. So for an ideal day, you could drive to the falls, you could go to Gibson's Hut for lunch, which has got a barbecue, a great little hut. You've got the ski hut, which is iconic to Corion. So it's been rebuilt, it's awesome. There's so many great spots up here. We can get it out there and promote it well. I think we can get a lot of people back into these small communities that have been impacted by fires, by flooding. To build these sites for the Upper Murray area is awesome. Where else would you rather be? I couldn't think of a better place to work.